Hi there, this is Patricia, and I teach about Twin Flame Ascension, and I'm not going to be ashamed about saying Twin Flame. You and your Twin Flame loveliness, you know it deep inside. You got this because you're watching me. Hey, how are you today? Today I want to talk to you about the breakdown between two worlds. No, we're not talking about two continents. We are talking about the old paradigm and the new paradigm, new level, or what people are calling the new normal. First things first, being in a new normal is much easier to navigate with your twin flame body, channels open, up and running, your crown where it needs to be, your crown chakra, your high heart chakra, and that's just for starters. There is a whole plethora of other things to support your body systems to make it not only easy, but not only comfortable, but really pleasurable and enjoyable because that's how you're supposed to make love. It's not by slapping some skin together. That gets a little boring compared to it when you are an ascended being. When you're an ascended person, things are just different. And there are things here on the planet that are just not going to fill your tank. They're going to be like, oh, ho, hum, boring if you're lucky, if not right, downright frustrated and sort of disgusted too. You're going to find that uh, some things just really don't suit you anymore or don't suit your taste anymore. Does it make you worry about how you're going to fit together with your twin flame? Well, what makes you fit together is actually your twin flame body and love. Okay, the love is what alchemizes the melding of the parts of you together. And in that way, you wouldn't care what each other is into unless it's really off the wall. And honestly, ascended beings don't need that off the wall stuff. You need don't need that stuff. You actually will find it almost beneath you in some ways. You don't judge it. You're just like, that was a 3D earth thing. I don't need that crap anymore. Angelics are like that. Angelic beings crave variety. We need variety. We need the spice of life, but we need real living. Even if you're a quiet person, kind of introverted, you'll find that you need things to stimulate in you and spark you without being provocative. You can't provoke reactions. This is one of the biggest problems that indigos have is indigos really get bored on this planet and they're all too willing to just provoke things. Poke it. Get a reaction, right? We all got to stop getting reactions out of people. It kind of gets deadly sometimes. It is toxic sometimes. Hey, Indigos, stop that right now. But back to what I'm saying, the breakdown between two worlds is causing a lot of mental and emotional mental health issues. So what we call mental health, mental well-being is actually of the emotional body. It is of parts of you that are actually connected to your body's tissues. I have that mapped out and diagrammed in my courses and so that you know how you can use essences to literally lift your subtle bodies because the things that you purge, this is about subtle body healing and that in turn heals your physical body. What about autoimmune? Well, your immune system is centered in the upper part of your body. It's partly driven by your respiratory system, your lymph system. These are the things that a lot of times people don't really know how these things are interlocked and interconnected. How you actually overlap your energies with your twin flames energies for full effectiveness for your superpowers, for your super health and well-being and for super fabulous love making, actually making a third energy. Now, I know there's a lot of people that, you know, aren't quite sure. This is why I start you off step by step, either in a session or during my courses, which have a topics that are very pertinent to every segment of the Twin Flame Ascension journey. Breakdowns are not fun. However, breaking away old structures and dismantling things is ultimately a good thing. If you are breaking away from ancestral illness or biological things that run in your family, that's ultimately a good thing, but it can be really weird while you're going through it. I know what those are. 
I know how to guide people through them. I know what you should do. I know when you should include some medical suggestions or alternative healing type of suggestions in addition to the energy body work and integration work that I help you with. What can those be? Those can be something as simple as self-care, self-pampering, you know, get a massage. It can be other things that come through as guidance. 5D guidance comes through because 5D is initially the area where you need to get these directives from. In other words, this guidance that is going to help you to go to the next stage, to the next stage, to the next stage. What stage are you in? Well, I'm going to be straight up. If you're in the stage where you're just sitting and looking at Cora and watching videos and commenting on YouTube and waiting for the next energy weather report and trolling around in astrology and wondering about what your Gemini twin is doing now, you're in absolute zero stage. You're not doing shit. You're not doing anything. And it's time to ramp that up a bit. The bar is being raised from this year and it's going to keep getting raised each year. That sitting and watching stuff even though I'm also making a video, it doesn't cut it, okay? Some of the things out there, too, they're very fourth dimensional. I'll give you an example. A violet flame meditation is really only good for people who originate from the Pallades. That was their beam of light, that violet light that they rode in here on, that their essence climbed on board and got transported here. If you're not from there, it's not going to cut it for you. If you're an Ophanum twin flame, and so, by the way, you and your twin are the same type of angelic being. More than likely, you're stepping yourself down from the 10th dimension. You're going to find it more relatable to, like, talk about Yoda and Star Wars. And, you know, those things are going to speak to you sometimes. Palladian stuff gets to be very woo-woo, fluffy, seven years in Tibet at the top of the mountain with the Dalai Lama type of stuff, okay? Certain things just don't cut it for you anymore because they are quite simply outdated. My modality is new. It addresses the new twin flame body, which, which is a larger structure. It is also inclusive of two of you. It's not just you flying solo, trying to... You know, do things, do the work all on your own. If you are not feeling a response from your etheric twin, a real active response, you're not doing it right. Okay, I'm here to tell you. I've lately had some people come over from, I don't know what they're called. Those people, you know, they're almost shell-shocked. They've been abused by whatever twin flame people they've been working with. No, 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 no. I'm here to help you get empowered. I'm here to help you feel the experiences, get your channels open, feel your etheric twin, feel the love, and keep it going and maintain that. Not slip back into a hole, not feel like somehow you got, you know, I don't even know how to say it. Like you joined a cult or something. That is not what this is about. This is about an integration of a new light body that helps you maintain a fifth dimensional level of love streaming into your body constantly and feeling loved and well cared for and supported and romantic and passionate. So if that is not your experience, time to change sides and come join my groups, my classes, my webinars, my books are available, my pre-recorded webinars are available, and so are one-on-one -on -one sessions. I have created a practitioner course that I will be opening this year. I have a lot of things to help you with, multiple topics, and I have a lot of experience. And I'm a people person. I like people. I like to talk to people. And the sessions have been amazing, off the hook, ramping it up within an hour's time and people feeling lighter, focused, on track, and having their next steps and making it easy. How easy is that? How easy is that compared to like five years of therapy for some shitty relationship? Okay, so now do you hear what I'm saying? So reach out. The information is below in the description at 
my brand new website, twinflamereconnection.com. Thank you. Bye.